Hey everybody, it's your girl J9E. Uh, we are going to speak today about SS Sniper Wolf, uh, the homie. I, I, I love SS Sniper Wolf. She gives me good energy. So, <laughs> with that being said, you know, haters is always going to hate. <laughs> They're going to show up. They're going to get dressed. You know, put on their good Sunday best bars. <laughs> And they're going to show up when it's time to hate. I'm going to tell you, they're going to show up when it's time to hate. Like, they're going to get paid to do it. Okay? They show up. Talking about she ghosted a dying child. I know this is going to sound terrible. But, you know, I, I, I'm I not accusing nobody of nothing. <laughs> okay? I don't even think that it applies in this case. But I'm I'm brought back to a time when some kids were, you know, dying of cancer okay and their parents had set up a play date of sorts at uh somebody whose initials were mj <laughs> first name michael last name hee -hee. <laughs> you know and 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 some 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 accusations came out of that <clears throat> you know what didn't come out of that their children the, those those kids they never did succumb to that thing their mama said they had they it, you know but people still believed them even though they got kids and grandkids now they only <laughs> still running around kicking and even admitted at some point that their mama lied their mama made it all up trying to get money but people still talk about old mj old michael <laughs> As if he did it, paying no mind to the fact that clearly they were liars because those kids are still alive. They were terminally ill. Okay. So, you know, I'm a little leery, you know, with this type of stuff. And not to mention, you know, you go through the whole thing. There was somebody clearly hating on old SS Sniper Wolf. That dude, and like the, like the girl was just laying there, you know, like. If anybody, somebody is trying to capitalize off of this young lady's, you know, misfortune of her being sick, being ill, somebody is trying to take advantage of that. Guess who it is and guess who it ain't. S.S. Sniper Wolf was trying to set this thing up, not publicly. It was something for the girl, right? When the one, when the, when the mom posted it for everybody, she asked for them not to because you know, when everybody finds out, everybody starts, you know, kind of looking for the same thing and she gets, she gets, she get bombarded. Now this guy, he makes a post a video about this. Now explain how that helps. Who did, who did his video help? Him. That's it. Him. It used the little girl and it was to, to, to bash this other person all for his own personal gain. And people just jump on board with this stuff. She canceled. She ain't canceled. You can't. You can't cancel people off of bullshit. Shit happens. Shit happens. She was trying to set it up. They're not on the same the same time zone. You understood what happened, but you just couldn't help yourself, sir. You just had to. You was like, oh, I'm on this. I'm going to pretend to give a shit. I wonder if he tried to send her a message. Ugh, my God. They be hating on her. Because she got her ass done and titties done and lips done. <laughs> so, <laughs> Why does it bother you so much if she wants to get nip, tuck, suck, whatever? Why does it bother you? Uh, I ain't going to ramble on, you know, but I just don't, I don't like it. And y'all ain't going to just, it ain't just going to be a whole bunch of people just piggybacking on trying to be a douchebag, the old SS Sniper Wolf. I'm with you, girl. Fuck them all. <laughs> I find your videos hilarious and I know you were trying to do a good thing but you know what when people just pop up in front of you your, your life does not just literally just start to just form around this person who you just learned existed I mean it would not be convenient if I ran into you know Morris Chestnut and suddenly now I expect for his whole life to be all about me because I said I want to meet him <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. <clears throat> I just don't appreciate it. People need to just stop being so thirsty. If you're so thirsty that you you you, you are willing to drink the blood of someone else and to, to quench your thirst, 
you will bleed out somebody else of theirs, of their life, of their existence, of their their well-being. You don't know what people are going through. You know, the more people, more eyes you have on you on this planet, the more eyes you have on you, the more stress you are going to have on you. Those two things, they are together. They work together. If you have the one, you have the other. Okay. So y'all need to be careful when y'all just decide to willy nilly try to throw somebody under the bus like this. Like, at least let it be for something, you know, like if she was being an asshole to somebody who's nice. <laughs> That's the one that I use. <laughs> if I catch you being a dick to somebody that I like, no, not somebody that I like, because I like weird people sometimes, but, but to somebody who's nice and does good things and it's, and it's, it's pretty positive. Yeah, I'm going to call you out. I'm going to roast the shit out of you. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to go for the feelings. I'm going to go for the jugular. That's where I'm going. <laughs> But other than that, leave people alone. This shit is not cool. Ugh, I'm with you, girl. I'm with you. And uh, that's it. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.